uh, in the Nairobi CBD. Good afternoon to you, Esther Diana. Earlier you are speaking to Kenyans as we get closer to the budget being presented in the National Assembly. Has anything changed? What are they saying? What are some of the conversations within the Nairobi streets, Esther? Well, thank you, Aseto. Interesting that in our rounds we've actually been able to meet two Kenyans who are for the budget. But here, I am in Nairobi. I can walk, and as you can see around me, there are people seated here. And uh, my conversation with them has been that these people have told me they are not here for leisure. These people are here because they cannot afford to go to work. They do not have a job to go to. The cost of living, unemployment is the reason these people are sitting here today. So uh, just uh, to take you back, like we said earlier, this is the second budget uh, under President uh, William Ruto's administration. And uh, also when you look at uh, the budgetary allocations, we have uh, the education as one of the winner with uh, over 600 billion in a single allocation for the education sector. And uh, also uh, moving on, uh, experts have said that uh, Kenya has perennially, or it keeps missing its revenue estimates. Uh, so then uh, the big question today, I'm here with a Kenyan politician, a youth of this country, and the big question to him is, do you think it's possible to tax our way into prosperity? Welcome. Well, we understand um, tax is a necessity for any country, and it happens all over the globe. But the question bugs. Are we seeing any fruits for the taxation that you're going through? As I had seen in your daily today, that was the same question Kenyans are asking. Are we really seeing the fruits of the taxation that has been carried and in Kenyans? That is the question. Yeah, so well, we acknowledge it's a global necessity. Are we the sacrifices Kenyans are getting deep in their wording? That is what bothers most. All right, so uh, obviously I've attended uh, several public hearing sessions and uh, lobbies have said that uh, it, it is uh, unlikely for Kenya to keep uh, adding taxes, especially now that the country and Kenyans are just recovering from the, ta uh, from the, financial, uh, from the Finance Bill Act of 2023. So then I'll go back to you. What are some of the provisions in the finance bill that is being tabled today? And I know that is giving a lot of Kenyans unrest because uh, Aseto, in just about an hour or two, uh, the cabinet secretary for treasury is going to make an entrance into uh, is going to make an entrance into the uh, parliament and table this uh, particular budget that Kenyans are really anticipating not in a good way and not in a good way in a bad way it is a mixture of both so then tell us oh, you see we're headed into a very dangerous trajectory and that's why is why it is a necessity to make our inputs at this point in juncture 9th of uh, May it was gazetted the finance proposal 20, bill 2024 today the committee chair of finance and national planning is tabling it in parliament just as you put it and not long ago not a while ago first of july it will be commenced into an act so that is why there is a lot of necessity for us to react on it at this point in juncture i would uh, pick point on a few in this era where the government hasn't done much in creation of employment when you impose tax on digital content monetization that is one fallback that the youths can uh, resolve to. What really are you doing to those who seek employment in such venture? There's also unpredictability with this taxation. The data uh, excise duty was uh, previously from 20% was taken back to 15% and today the proposal is that it goes back to 20 percent that unpredictability is not suitable for business any investor would be scared away a country should be able to predict the future in terms of taxation and even economy there's also two percent 
uh, 2.5 I mean, which is being imposed on the cars. One may want to argue that cars are for the wealthy, but how about those who are in the eco uh, economic business? Myself, I run the car, has, how about... So these are some of the proposals that are also taking us back. And worst of all, when you hear of donation, what comes to mind? The government is also making a proposal on taxation of donations being treated as, as income. I think that is a bit retrogressive. So allow me to cut you short, but we'll come back to you. So Aseto, we are still here in Nairobi CBD. We are pitching camp here and uh, we'll keep you updated as more comes by. So back to you in studio. Thank you, Esther, as you continue to bring us up to speed, including Kenyans who are just speaking and expressing themselves on the budget 2024-2025 that will be presented in the National Assembly. Kenyans have a lot to say with regard to the budget, but that we wait until that time when the Cabinet Secretary will be making his way to the National Assembly to give his presentation on why he thinks that budget is good for the country. Are we moving forward? Are we moving back? But most importantly, how are we going to fund that budget? But now let's take a short commercial break. When we come back, we have a discussion on a segment of the society. And we shall be asking, have they been included in this budget-making process? And if not, how will the government take care of them? That conversation after this short commercial break. Mm -hmm. 